So today we will see the diagonal triangle. So it is between the base of the mandible and the hyoid bone. First we will see the boundaries. In the boundaries, first we will see the base. So base is by the body of the mandible. And if you will take a imaginary line from the angle of the mandible till the mastoid process. So this will form the base. Next we have the antero inferior boundary. This is formed by the anterior belly of the digastric muscle. Then we have the posterior inferior boundary. This is by the posterior belly of the digastric muscle. Now we will discuss about the floor of the triangle. So in the floor anteriorly we have the mylohyoid muscle. Posterior to the mylohyoid We have the hyoglossus muscle. And posteriorly we have small part of middle constrictor muscle. So these three muscles will form the floor of the diagnostic triangle. And roof is formed by the skin, superficial fascia containing the platysma muscle. And cervical branch of the facial nerve. Now we will see the contents. We have the superficial part of submandibular gland. And we have the facial vein and facial artery near the anterior border of the mesiatric muscle. Then you have the submental artery and mylohyoid nerves and vessels. And also we will see the submandibular lymph nodes.
and this green color you can see this is the hypoglossal nerve and posterior side again we will see the external carotid artery and styloid process along with its three muscles and also we will see the lower part of the parotid gland.